Good morning, Quackcopter101 here, and before we get started, let's get the shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Eddie Malhan. He was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quackcopter101 here, and I have a neat new little tiny whoop for you today. Now, the past year we saw the, a lot of new whoops coming out with brushless motors, and I guess it's going to continue into this year. Uh, this year they're improving them. Um, one of my favorites from last year was the Beta 75X, uh, you know, the extreme model. Uh, this was a nice whoop. I would take it out and uh, really go fast with this little thing. This, you know, it, it had a performance comparable to, you know, the little micro uh, FPV racers, brushless micro FPV racers in a whoop. Uh, but with that in mind, this was kind of a heavy bird. You know, this was 42 grams. Uh, actually, I believe it. Uh, what was the weight of this dang thing? About 40 grams uh, without the battery. You know, it's it's a kind of a heavy little whoop. What Beta FPV do, did with that particular model in this new Pro version is to lighten it up. Um, they've lightened it up by incorporating the flight controller, uh, the ESCs, and the receiver in, into the flight control board. Let's open this up and show you what we got here. Uh, right now it's 28 grams. 28 grams versus 42 grams of its predecessor. So, you know, they lightened it up quite a bit. Uh, they didn't, it's not only the flight, con you know, incorporating all those things into the flight controller, but they also um, used lighter weight motors. I believe this thing, this one comes with uh, the motors on this. They're 0802 12,000 kV motors as compared to the 1103 11,000 KV motors of the 75X. So, you know, they're a little bit lighter weight motors, um, probably a little bit less power than, than what you get from the 75X, but, you know, keep in mind it is a tiny whoop and we'll see how if there's a big difference by going with the lighter weight motors. But you can feel right away as compared to this, that this one is quite a bit lighter than its predecessor. Now, let's take a closer look. Uh, first off, let's see what we get in the box here. Uh, you get a card with a user manual uh, uh, website, which you can go to support.betafpv.com to get the user manual for this. Uh, you get the drone, and additionally, you get this little plastic mount. Now, this let's get this so you can see it better. This little plastic mount is a 25-degree camera mount for the all-in-one camera of the drone. The drone has already built-in camera mount in it, it's set at 35 degrees, but if that's too extreme of a you know an angle for you, if you don't like to fly super fast, I like to fly super fast, so I'm going to be happy with that, I'm pretty sure. But you can go with a, a more shallower angle on that FPV camera. Uh, you'd have to install this yourself, but it's, you know just use three screws is all it's needed to insert, insert and install that. Okay, additionally, you get in the packet this uh, little package. And inside this package, let me show you these up close. First off, you get this little foam insert. And what this is, is a, it's a battery uh, holder. <laughs> or actually, you jam it through here, through the battery holder. And this provides a little more um, holding of the battery. Because they slip, slip out very easily. The way, you know, if you just insert them without this little foam insert, um, they go in and out quite easily. This provides a little more space in there. I'll get it in there later. I'm not going to mess with it right now. But that... You know, gives a little more cushion and also pinches the batteries in there so they don't slide out as easily as, say, in a crash or in a hard landing. Um, you got the mount. I talked about that already. There's one or two other things you get in this package, and they're very, very tiny, and you probably overlook them if you didn't take a close look. But what these are, folks, these are shorting plugs. And these little tiny shorting plugs go in to the either one of these you don't put them into both but uh they plug into either one of these let me find out how they do that i'm assuming they go this way let's see if it goes in there properly yeah like so and then you pull them out too but the idea behind these folks is you plug them into one of these battery outlets and you could either fly this 1s or 2s with the provided batteries and hold on i didn't show you the batteries these are the provided batteries, but you can fly this 1S or 2S by putting that in there. Um, you can now fly 1S with 1S power. And why would you want to fly 1S? Well, indoors mainly. <laughs> okay, uh, it'll it'll fly indoors. You know, if you're going to be flying slowly and not 
zipping, you're not going to need a hell, heck of a lot of power. You can use just one battery and uh, just fly around your house. That's the idea of 1S, 1S flying. But if you're flying outdoors, you're going to want a lot more power and probably a lot more speed. And that's what I like to do, fly outdoors. So you just pull that little plug out and then you can plug in both of those batteries into both leads there and then you've got a 2S flyer. Uh, now the flight controller ESCs on the flight control board are only rated up to 5 amps so you don't you know you can forget about 3S flying but 1S and 2S this can fly. Okay let's talk about the camera and work our way down to the bottom of the drone go over each part of this. Uh, we have a little 25 milliwatt FPV system all in one camera with 48 channels it's PAL now it's 100 degrees field of view. Again, it is angled upward at 35 degrees, and the idea is that you can tilt the can or tilt the drone and get a lot of speed out of it by you know 35 degree tilt. Um, again, it does have a spare 25 degree mount if you're not you know if that 35 degrees is too much for you. Now the uh, transmitter FPV transmitter is has on-screen display built into it. Uh, with smart audio capability and what that means is we can change the channels of this uh, FPV transmitter using the menus of uh, the on-screen display menus you don't have to press buttons in other words you know that's gone away with this drone and gone away with a lot of recent drones and I'm happy to see that go away because it was always a pain you know figuring out the coding and how many times you had to push a button to get the right frequency or the right channel now it's all automatic done through menus on your on-screen display um, additionally the flight control board I mentioned is a Matek F411RX flight control board uh, loaded up with Betaflight M41R uh, 4.0.0 dated 14 December so it's relatively recent 14 December 2018 again it has 5 amp ESC's already built into the flight control board uh, the, also it has again the receiver built into the flight control board and the idea again is to make it light as possible uh, it's available with built in re receivers for FreeSky and that's the FCC version of FreeSky you know for U United States of America <laughs> USA use or Futaba uh, also has, is available uh, with built in now the versions that are not built in that will have separate uh, receivers are FreeSky LBT that's European Union FreeSky uh, compliant FreeSky DSMX FlySky and also there's going to be a PNP version of this available now we go over the motors again. The motors are smaller than their, pre, their, their predecessor, the 75X. These are 802, uh, 12,000 kV motors. Uh, and uh, again, they're powered up by the 5 amp ESC. So again, they're limited. You don't want to go 3S with this because it will damage this drone. So 1S and 2S only for flying of this. Uh, the motors also have bearings, as I mentioned before. So uh, they should last a bit longer than other uh, uh, brushless motors. Now uh, the batteries that you get with this you get two of these and these again are 300 milliamp per hour uh, LIHV batteries 1S batteries and again you get two. Uh, again you can since these are LIHV you're going to need an LIHV charger to get the full power out of these but you can still use a lipo charger with these but again if you're using a lipo charger with these you're not, you're not going to get the flight time you normally would with an LIHV battery you get a little more flight time if you can take it up to that 4.35 volts max charge and what else uh, we got 40 millimeter props on this uh, these are more or less generic 40 millimeter props you you can see these on other uh, drones out there so these you know if you see other 40 millimeter whoop props they'll probably work with this and uh, one other thing is this comes set up pretty well out of the box uh, ready to go I did modify mine a little uh, in beta flight there for the switches but uh, it uses channel 4 5 and 6 or 5 6 and 7 I'm sorry and my little jumper uh, transmitter is already, already set up with this but channel 5 it was set up to arm it channel 6 is set up to uh, switch between the flight control modes that are available uh, I have it set up to angle I have it also set up to horizon and I also set it up to acro so we're going to be flying this both uh, actually I'm going to be flying it angle in 1s mode actually acro in 1s mode I'm going to take it out and fly it acro in 1s mode and then we're going to switch to uh, 2s mode and you know putting two batteries in and uh, 
to fly it in acro again. Uh, the difference between the, the two flights I'm going to try to do, they say this, this transmitter is only powered, uh, available output power is 25 milliwatts, but I think it, you know, it seems to be one of their uh, commercially available transmitters, FPV transmitters. Uh, there, uh, I forgot the name of the thing, but uh, hold on, I got it written down somewhere, I believe. But it's supposed there the version that Beta FPV sells of this all-in-one transmitter is supposedly two, also 200 milliwatt capable. So what I'm going to do is again, it's two flights of this in 1S mode and 2S with 1S batteries and 2S batteries, and switch between 25 milliwatt for the 1S flight. And then when we have two batteries with in 2S mode, I'm going to see if I can switch through smart audio to 200 milliwatt and see if I notice any difference in the FPV transmission. And that's about it, folks. So let's take this thing out for a flight and see how it performs. So hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and we're at it, one of my favorite flying spots, as usual. Uh, what I'm going to do first, folks, is I have a 1S battery. This is a 450 milliamp hour uh, LIHV battery. I have the uh, shorting plug, one of the shorting plugs inserted into one of the power ports. You only need to do one. And the other one is where you plug in the uh, 2S or the 1S battery. So we're going to fly it again 1S first, and then we'll switch to 2S for the second flight. Okay, hold on, folks. I'm going to bind it. We'll go to the air. We're going to start off in FPV mode. Okay, we are set up here. Again, we're going to start off in 1S acro. And additionally, I am going to be selecting angle mode for this 1S acro, acro because I'm going to simulate flying indoors. Most people fly indoors in acro or in angle mode, not acro. And arming the motors, we'll go into uh, acro for the second flight in 2S mode. And, and take into the air. Now, you know. With 1S, don't expect this to be a, a super fast flyer. It's not going to be. But let's see what we can do. Okay, the screen, the camera looks very well for 25 milliwatt. It's not too bad at all. Let's test out its range. We're going to go down this area here. Give it a forward pitch. A lot of forward pitch to keep this thing going in 1S. <laughs> Okay, let's try some maneuverability. Okay, going around here. I'm giving a lot of throttle, folks. But, again, it's a 1S battery. That 1S battery's got a lot of power. It's an LAHV uh, big thing from one of my other micro racers. But it's, it's doing a job. So not too bad. Now, I'm not going to even try to do acrobatics because, again, I'm at full throttle right now, almost full throttle, about 75% throttle with this 1S. Um, that 1S battery is kind of heavy, what I'm using. It's a big battery. So, so you know, that's kind of the reason, one of the reasons for the sluggishness here and under 1S. Yeah, if I was using the stock batteries, they're about half the size of this, they're half the weight. So it would probably work a lot better, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Let's see what type of range we can get here. Let's go down here. We got the geese in the area. No geese. Ain't that cool? <laughs> they don't even care. This little bird flying over their head. Let's do it again. Oh, they care that time. <laughs> I'll stay away from you for now. 3.3 uh, .3 volts. Land now, we're going to take, you know, this is one of those LIHVs. They can go a little bit lower, but I'm going to land it now. It's getting low. Okay, where's my landing pad? <laughs> go up a little higher. I can't even see this thing. That's close enough. <laughs> okay, we are going to switch to 2S mode and see how it performs then. So hold on, folks. Okay, 2S, notice on the screen we got 8.6 volts here to start off with. I'm going to take that down close to 6 volts, folks. Uh, you know, 3 volt per battery. So, going to acro and arming. Motors are armed. We should be ready to go. And let's try it. this in uh, acro mode. Oh, arm switch. Arm. Acro. 
Whoa, big difference in flight ability. Okay. Let me get a handle for it first. And let's pick up the speed a bit. It's been a while since I've flown Acro, folks, so I gotta uh, get the feel for it again. But there we go. Got it now. One up. Let's try it. Try that. Coming around. See what kind of speed we can get here. Going up and around. It's got the oomph. I'll tell you that right now. It's got a lot of oomph. I'm like going up and doing forward roll. Yeah, let's go to see these guys. Going over their head real fast. Well, I'm still in 25 milliwatt. I'm going to stay in 25 milliwatt, folks. Well, actually, I promised you guys that I'd try 200 milliwatt. So, but I'm not seeing any problems with the 25 milliwatt, so I don't know, even know why I would want to try that. But let's do it, though, just, just to see. And I wanted to show you, too. Going up a bit higher and then selecting stabilize. And then coming back down. Pyramid dodge. Anywhere is fine. <laughs> right about there. Um, hold on, folks. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you. I got it disarmed. If we move the left stick up and uh, centered, left and centered, and then move this stick up, we enter into our menus. And I'm going to go down to features, and then I go to the right, and then I go down to video transmitter TR, and then we're going to we're going to go down to power level and select 200 and then go down to set and hit set and hit confirm okay and then we're going to go back and then we're going to go back in again and make sure it's that stayed and it did so you know it's it suggests that this is 200 milliwatt transmitter i'm going to fly it with 200 milliwatts let me hit back and then hit save and exit and we'll take to the air with 200 milliwatts so hold on folks Okay, we have it in 200 milliwatts now. I think it's 200 milliwatts. Let's try it out and see how much range we can get with this uh, transmitter. So arming, going to the air. Going back down to these guys. Now also I'm watching my uh, RSSI. But I am way down the field. I am not sure if it really is 200 milliwatts, but I'm at the far end of the field. So it possibly is. Coming by these guys again. So, you know, they say it doesn't have 200 milliwatt power, but it might. <laughs> it just might. So let's go fast with this thing. You know, the 35 degrees is cool, but uh, you could use a little bit more, actually, <laughs> in my opinion. The uh, upward angle on it. Oh, I'm getting low on battery, ain't I? No, no, I'm just going a little too fast. It went back up again. Slowing it back down a bit. Well, this one is compared to the, let's talk about the set comparisons to 75X. Uh, I really like the 75X. This one's okay too. It's just, it really doesn't feel like the 75X. The 75X had a lot of uh, speed and oomph. Uh, this one seems a little bit slower actually in my opinion. <laughs> and it's again, uh, that 35 degree camera angle, I'm not so sure <laughs> if that's enough. Because I notice I'm tilting my head up while I'm flying here. I want to go faster and just keep tilting my head up. Uh, uh, low battery already? No. Okay, let's try uh, some slaloming here. I still got power. Oh, 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 if I could still got power. Hold on. I impacted the ground there for a second. Oh, that ends that. Let's try that turtle. <laughs> This does have turtle mode, folks. Let's try it and see if it actually works. Going to try turtle. Yeah, didn't do it. So hold on, folks. We're going to put it back on a pad. Okay, with the remaining power in the battery, yeah, I remembered. I did get a chance to show you this flying uh, just up close uh, in line of sight mode. So let's arm it and let's take to the air and just show it to you. It is a cool looking little drone. It does have a lot of power on it. Um, it has that 35 degree angle on that camera, 
but I'm not sure that's enough for, at least not for me, because I really like to go fast. But it's got the punch, as you can see there. Uh, let's try, let's put it on the ground and let's go into acro. I'm going to switch it to acro and we'll see if it can do some flips. Actually, I got it, I think it has horizon too. Let's try horizon instead. Horizon will make it flip even easier for me. <laughs> but uh, arming, horizon, in horizon mode right now. Let's go up a little bit higher and try a flip. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And I think we're out of power. <laughs> so um, so that's the... Yeah, that's probably the end of the battery. I hope it didn't hurt those batteries. That's the Beta 75 uh, Pro 2 version. Um, it moves. It can do... You know, it's similar to the 75X. I, the only thing I really don't like about it, 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 you know, it's got the 35 degrees, but I, I'd like a little more, <laughs> a little more upward of them, because I like to go really fast. But 35 degrees, I guess, is okay for most folks. Uh, let's see, what else? You know, 2S, it enables you to use uh, this style of, um, what do you call it, power bridle or power harness. I'm not sure that this is the best way to do it, folks. You know, I know that Mobula uses this type. Mobula 7 uses this type of connector. But, you know, an XT30 connector would allow more power to go to these motors, in my opinion. You know, I'm, I'm not seeing the, the speed and oomph that I saw with the 75X. Uh, you know, this does have a lot of speed. It has a lot of oomph, but not as much as the 75X. The 75X seems to have more. So I, I really can't explain that other than... This power bridle is probably the issue. Um, but a lot of people want to be able to fly 1S and 2S, and this will enable you to do both. So that's the idea, you know, 1S for indoor flying in stabilized mode, and you can actually take this outdoors. Uh, we're, as in comparison, the 75X, you know, it's just a 2S flyer, and, I, and really not a really good idea for indoor flying. It's really zippy. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quad Copter 101 with the Beta 75 Pro 2. Hope you enjoyed it. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. Thank <laughs> you.